All right, we're here. Welcome to the second annual tournament. This is Fight Club, a Valentine's Day massacre. What are we calling this, some guy? Valentine's Day bash. I don't know. Yeah, Valentine's Day bash, the Fight Club annual no. or an <laughs> anniversary tournament. Uh, whatever you call okay. it. Yeah. Uh, it's, it is it's your colossal. anniversary. It is. Yeah, it's damn big. I've seen like the most viewer numbers on just regular tourney games in this tournament and yeah, ever. So it's awesome. I mean, we had uh, 24 matches in the group stages, and uh, then we had the brackets, which included the quarterfinals, semifinals, and uh, <laughs> down there to the finals that we're here now. So, I mean, yep. in, in terms of scale, it's uh, it's pretty magnificent. It's been incredible. Just to get you guys a good, quick introduction, my name is Sleepy, joined, as always, by my sidekick, Fight Club founder and uh, fearless leader, some guy. And some hey, guy, I'll let you introduce like our say, third guy. I'll say uh, Chicken was actually the, the founder of Fight Club. He's the one who's put together this whole tournament. Um, I was one of the people that actually found the server, the physical server itself, and it just kind of took off. Um, and then we have Terripper here, who uh, needs no introduction. <laughs> <laughs> I like to think so, uh, but if only. Yes, I am Terripper. I make some YouTube videos for some people. Uh, Chicken just got... Chicken just got what? Finished telling me I am chivalry. I think he might be a little high. I am definitely not hard. Um, no, that's not right. <laughs> you are. <laughs> if you're not hard for this matchup, then I don't know what will make you. Nemesis versus Tempest. Okay, then I am, I am full masked right now. Absolutely. This is a rated <laughs> NC-17 here at the Valentine's Day Bash. And uh, what better way to get it up than with Nemesis, Nemesis versus Tempest? This is match seven. Most definitely. You know, guys, I actually thought there was a little bit of juxtaposition with tonight because they have the Oscars. You know, it's all about Birdman <laughs> versus Boyhood. And uh, really, we're seeing a matchup like that tonight between Nemesis and uh, Tempest. I'm totally into that comparison, dude. It's <laughs> totally apt. Um, actually, I, I watched some of the, the first games that Nemesis had. They played uh, uh, against Rangers, Moorland Skirmishers, and uh, Genesis, who they actually had to play twice when they met them again in the semifinals. And they they were playing really, really strong. Um, the, the first game when they came out against Moorland Skirmishers, I mean, it may have been one of the, the, the fastest cart moves I've ever seen on Dark Forest. Um, and, and really the teamwork setting up the 2v1s and uh, uh, interesting type of tactic when it came to, to putting their, their classes together was uh, was pivotal in, in, in giving them those early wins and, and getting them to this point. Seeing a lot of good strategies with the archers as well. Seeing archers willing to put down the bow if momentarily only to go in melee and really do lots of damage. Uh, the melee and archers, just such a fast weapon. Oh, absolutely. Hey, did you Were you guys watching the games... Uh, with Syndicate and uh, Biggs, the team, because I I did see some of Syndicate. Um, mm -hmm. I thought it was really awesome. We were actually commenting yesterday about uh, their use of the the short spear, you know, and oh, yeah. and in that in that archer class, you know, I think a lot of people don't expect it. And I, I'm a big fan of using weapons and stuff that that people aren't aren't are used to seeing. You know, I'll play a knight. He pulls out the flail. Um, and even though I know I got my parries down, he still blows my face off, you know? And I think the, the javelin's a lot like that. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I w we were seeing today, Biggs was, like, absolutely demolishing the competition in terms of archer fights. Um, and even against Tempest, he was totally topping the scoreboard. And I would I would say, me and Unborn, we were commentating, we pretty much unanimously agreed on the fact that he carried my team a little bit. <laughs> Thank God. <laughs> But hey, hey, I'm part of the third best clan in chivalry. Yeah, I can put that on like a plaque somewhere. Third yeah. best clan. This is going to make your YouTube videos skyrocket. Oh, yeah, I might oh. be thought of as a legitimately skillful player now. <laughs> um, I, you know, I think it, it, in terms of some of these other archer uh, kind of setups that they've had going on, uh, mo you know, most people, this tournament, you can only have one archer per team. Um, but I saw Palisir going with the light crossbow, and I've seen a couple people doing, uh, you know, the short spears that we had we had said prior, but also longbow and uh, a little bit of warbow, which you know really isn't as common. 
Not anymore, at least. Mm hmm. <sighs> so much of these particular players on, on each team that we maybe need to watch out for. Well, uh, having having actually casted two games from each clan, I think I'm pretty adept at them by now. So Tempest has been rocking the malls this whole tournament, as they usually do. However, Raw Boner and um, Spook have just been tearing apart engagements with the malls. It's insane. They're getting doubles and triples out of nowhere. And those play a huge factor in what direction the game goes because they're owning the engagements and what happens. And that's that seems to be Tempest's trump card in this tournament. Their knights are just on point. Yeah, and I, you know, I think uh, we've seen a lot of people, a lot of teams going with the, uh, it's a 6v6 tournament. I've, I've, been a seeing, I've been seeing a lot of three knights, uh, maybe uh, one vanguard, one MAA, and one archer set up. Though we've seen a couple people go to vanguard, but, you know, I, I was kind of positing this to, to Sleepy yesterday. Do, do you think that any of these people are, are going to drop that third night, or is it is it pretty much obligatory to, <laughs> to have three nights in your setup? Um, I would I would say these days, uh, that caveman meta pretty much necessitates three nights. If you want your, right. your team to get really anywhere in a match, you need to have that health and those mauls or the messers or whatever because that they just own engagements the tanking ability um used to be man at arms was op as hell they're still a little op as hell uh but now with that new caveman meta you know knights are really taking the podium as pretty much the most favored class i've heard the maw has fucked more knights than the black plague but oh <laughs> <laughs> But seriously though, uh, we do see the Maul, the Messer, the Sword of War. Is there room for any other knight weapons? Mm, I would honestly say, um, other than you're saying the most used Maul, Messer, Sword of War. Exactly. Um, I would say a little bit. We saw, <laughs> this is funny, we saw Bearded Axe in a duel. Uh, we never see that in competitive. I don't think he used it in the actual competitive game. Yeah, I would probably say there really is no need to use any other weapon, um, which is why I, I actually condone something that Omega is trying to push right now, which is a weapon pick ban tournament. That could be really interesting because it could invoke some lesser used tactics of much le much lower popularity weapons. Um, but but I at this point I I don't think there's any sense in using any other weapon. Absolutely. Um, so it looks like maybe they're mm -hmm. they're they're trying to figure out what server they want to go with. Uh, they were getting a, a little bit of uh, a higher ping here in uh, Fight Club Home. I don't know where they're based out of, but there might be a server switch here. We might see a half and half uh, played as a, there were a couple games that where that was the choice uh, earlier in the tournament. Mm -hmm. I think I might have noticed that a little bit as well. Yeah, we'll be accommodating to that for sure. Just to give a big shout out to our server providers, though, this tournament has been sponsored by Simrai. Even you can afford a server. Even you, some guy. <laughs> Even me. On my meager Fight Club wages. <laughs> How much does it pay to be a Fight Club manager? Um, negative $5, I think. Uh, $5 or a month? $3.50, my bad. Three fifty a month, I'm sure. <laughs> Oh, but 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 in all seriousness, actually, Simrai servers are really really nice. Um, me and uh, I think it was like Beef yesterday. We actually did a direct comparison between Simrai servers and some other server providers. Um, and Simrai servers are like ten bucks a month for a twenty-four slot, which is pretty damn decent. And other Very people, cheap. other people are like fucking thirty bucks a month. Like, what is this? Yeah, and you know, I mean, we actually went with a couple big box servers, uh, specifically NFO game servers, and, you know, they just don't offer the same type of service that Samurai does. They understand the game, uh, they understand that there's kind of a niche that, that Chivalry fills in, and, and they're going to they're gonna help you out to make sure that, you know, you're, you're not having high latency uh, players on your server, you're, you're not having any stutters or, or frame loss, and... Uh, they're really going to help you out along the way, and that's what really sets them apart. 
So it looks like everybody has left the current server, so maybe they decided on another server to be a part of. And get this <laughs> started. Alright, so we might have to I'll have to turn off my shift stream for just a second while Here's we enter the stuff. password. Do you guys have any idea where we're heading? Uh they were talking about maybe doing Tempest duels, but I don't know if that's no official word or... yet, okay. So right now, guys out there in TV land, I want to thank everybody for checking out the stream. A lot of first-timers on my stream right now. Appreciate you guys checking in. I hope this is going to be great for you. I know I can think of... Uh, th this is a lot better than watching the Oscars, let's face it. We don't have to talk about dresses. <laughs> we don't have to talk about pearl necklaces. <laughs> there, I might that the do truth. a musical number. We'll see. I will join you in this. Uh, freestyle battle might happen. Uh, okay, I thought he said musical number, not um, <laughs> rap. Like I can, I can go full on. I can go full on um, over the rainbow, but if we're talking about like spitting rhymes. Like, you're <laughs> <God, no. laughs> more of a lame is. Yes, I am more of a lame is than a. Uh, uh, my name is. <laughs> more of a lame is than my name is. My name is. Yeah. <laughs> It depended on who's winning, uh, we might be singing a, a little I Will Survive, uh, depending <laughs> on you know, what team's up or down. Yeah, I'm, I'm up for that. And these, this should be Whoa. kicking off in the next 10 minutes, I would suggest. It's probably it's 8.56 right now, we're trying to, to do a 9 o'clock start time, so it should be any minute now. Mm-hmm. Now I have just moved into a new apartment and my walls have no posters on them yet, no carpet on the floor, so they're saying it's really echoey on my end. So I've actually got a a big um a big quilt over my head, over the computer, and I'm I've got a little tent like I was twelve years old and making a, a little tent in my room right now. Hopefully that dampens some of the sound. I've actually got a pair of underwear wrapped around my mic to try to dampen it. Okay, I'm glad you. I'm <laughs> well, glad TMI. you said the second half of that sentence. It smells great. Um, oh. <laughs> what muffles uh, microphones best? Uh, boxer briefs or? <laughs> <laughs> These are about week old boxer briefs. <laughs> I'm just using a regular pop filter. I think I might be doing something wrong. You absolutely um, are. I, I yeah, I got all my pop filters and got all that, but it just, uh, I haven't got everything moved yet to my new studio, so it's kind of bad timing. Okay. <laughs> so underwear it is. God, if I had a picture of this, this is something I want to look back on in 10 years. Yeah, I was about to say, Tripper, your, uh, your mic comes through really clear. Uh, oh, yeah, I got a high, new one. Very high quality. This is actually really awesome. Um, I'm using a Blue Yeti right now, which I got for my birthday. Um, oh, nice. Which is Monday. You can all say happy birthday to Ripper in the chat now. Ha because, happy um, belated. Yeah, well, happy, like, pre, I don't, whatever, you don't have to. Or Monday, um, oh, okay. I didn't know which yeah. one. <laughs> <laughs> That's all right. Um, but, yeah, I, I, I ordered this a couple days ago for my birthday. I was like, there's no way it could come Saturday. That's just, no, no. When I, when I start streaming, that's insane. It comes 20 minutes before I'm supposed to cast my first game. Sweet. Which is uh, yeah, it's like it was a sign. So I guess there's still a little bit of debate as to where this is going to be held. But it looks like a lot of people are going to well, the Tempest duels. Yeah, and we're just going to try to get the... Uh, if that's, that seems to be the decision, we're just going to try to get the password for that and get all logged in uh, for all the reps and, and hosts and casters. You know, I, I was actually talking about, because this is actually the second uh, annual Fight Club tournament. We were founded February 2nd uh, in 2013, probably one of the longest standing and uh, most popular servers uh, around. You know, we were really trying to, to, to appeal to the